Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzma with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Beautiful day out there. I think I might even try to head out after this report and fish at this very beach you're looking at on the live cam right now. Wow, what a day. And what a great day if you're a buyer in precious metals because these dollar, temporary little dollar spikes provide buyers with a great opportunity to buy at lower levels uh, physical uh, uh, gold at lower prices and uh, you know unlike most times when silver and gold got kicked over the last year uh, premiums haven't increased dramatically so if you're looking for an opportunity to buy gold and silver uh, at these lower prices without getting kicked in the ass with higher premiums uh, it's a good time there seems to be product available as of right now at these low levels and again uh, I think these dollar spikes provide people a great opportunity to buy. Why I'm not why I'm not worried about this at all when I see these, uh, and it may even get kicked in the ass a little bit tomorrow. It's a holiday weekend, and typically when uh, precious metals get kicked in the ass, it gets kicked in the ass during a, a non-existent trading in the middle of the night, <laughs> and uh, uh, slightly suspicious. But uh, who am I to say? And it also gets kicked in the ass and. Uh, holidays during holidays when the uh, trading is really really light uh, and what we saw today was nothing more than a spike in dollar strength however what, what did I, I don't worry about dollar strength why do not I not worry about dollar strength because it's always temporary it's not gonna last since 1913 you're gonna see at the end of this video uh, uh, dollar, the value of the dollar just declines, declines, declines. Now you can go to a dollar index and look at a, a graph of a dollar index, but they always adjust it for inflation, adjust it for currency, adjust it for this or that. But the truth of the matter is, I could not find a non-adjusted uh, inflation chart for uh, for the dollar, an index chart for the dollar. I just couldn't find it out there. I don't, I don't even know if they exist or it's just too embarrassing to look at. Anyways, relax, friend. Don't rustle your jimmies because everything's okay. I believe that. Again, the only thing you had to worry about is if you were forced to sell in this down market. We've been in a sideways market for two months. Every, you know, the markets are trying to figure out what we're, what's going on. Uh, precious metals markets as well. Uh, there's a big... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Jeez, a big uncertainty in the air about a lot of things. So really, relax. The fact is uh, uh, the gold prices are really tied to a uh, weak dollar, and the dollar being the world reserve currency, or at one time was a world reserve currency, uh, is in a steady decline since 1913 and getting worse and worse. So patience, my friend. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Uh, precious metals are going to fly through the roof when the dollar starts uh, getting kicked in the ass really bad and I suspect that's gonna happen uh, come the new year that's my opinion anyways uh, zero hedge uh, said it best dollar jumps gold dumps as massive short squeeze sends greed near 2020 highs uh, again uh, zero hedge I'm not a Wall Street Journal subscriber anymore I got rid of them I'm just tired of their one-way slanted news uh, and again you got to remember when you read articles like zero hedge as well they got their little slant going but uh, uh, they provide a, a kind of a different uh, slant than the others. And, the, you know, the nice thing, I told you I got rid of my Wall Street Journal subscription, but the nice thing about it is I, I can still read the front page for free. Any of you can. Uh, and most of the time I have discovered over the last several years, you don't need to read anything but the headline. The, the articles are so shallow in corporate news. Uh, and... <laughs> I don't want to go into to bullshit, but uh, a lot of them are bullshit, but they're so shallow that you don't have to read anything but the headline. The headline says everything in today's corporate news, especially the Wall Street Journal. So now I, I instead of paying 500 bucks a year like I have for like 15 or 20 years for a Wall Street Journal subscription uh, online, uh, I'm getting it for free and I'm just looking at the headlines. I don't feel any worse for it and I'm doing it for free, so screw those people. Uh, they, they've just gone downhill. That's just my opinion. But uh, Zero Hedge is... Uh, uh, it's free. However, you got to remember that here. I'm going to kind of back page here. Let's take a look at what Zero Hedge does have to offer. Look at the article. Death Star strategy. They are right for sure. There's they are right uh, of center. There's no doubt that they publish a lot of stuff that's more right towards center. Uh, but I like the. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, they post a lot of things out there that you won't read in corporate news or. Uh, the corporate news headline that charges you five hundred dollars a year for a stupid headline that doesn't that's so shallow that the headline is 
uh, more informative than the article itself. Uh, anyways, uh, gosh, I, God, I didn't mean to rail on him because, man, I used to love to read that newspaper. Uh, let me move all along from there. But anyways, I think that the uh, uh, zero hedge kind of got it right. Dollar jumps, gold dumps uh, as massive short squeeze sends greed near 2020 highs. You can read that yourself. Love the little cartoons that he puts in here as well. Uh, usually uh, Simpsons or one of those type cartoons, but uh, can't hear the volume. Anyway, check out that article. The death throes of the Republic. Well, <clears throat> if your Republic is tied to a dollar, which we are, we are tied to the dollar, folks. I mean, that's what all of us buy and sell. you know, we go buy our groceries with the dollar, we pay our bills with the dollar, we get paid in the dollar. Uh, uh, and the destruction of the dollar really is the destruction of the republic. Um, there's no doubt about that in my mind. And if they're going to destroy the dollar, uh, they're going to destroy all of us. And that's kind of what I see happening with this endless money printing that they're doing. And this is the reason that you are in precious metals, is a uh, hedge against that, a hedge against the dollar that's falling. Uh, Goldman Sachs, I believe, said this week that they felt the dollar was going to get hit by 20% next year. Holy shit, 20%? Are you kidding me? Uh, that's just insane. And let me show you some things up here, too. Uh, I'm going to kind of move into what uh, I was talking about as far as uh, the U.S. dollar uh, being a fiat currency and uh, uh, how the dollar's buying power just declines. <sighs> all kinds of bad stuff, but all kinds of good stuff if you hold gold, silver, and platinum because, again, it's a hedge against a falling dollar. And I'll show you why shortly, at least in my opinion, why. Uh, let's take a look at spot prices. I'm going to refresh this right now. And uh, market is closed. Opens again 6. The world market opens at 6. Uh, wow, take a look at that trouncing. A high of 1868, a low of 1831. $34 down. I'll take a look at the uh, uh, world spot prices, which are mirroring that. You know, silver didn't get trashed nearly as bad as I thought it would. You know, silver does sometimes those $2 moves, to, you know, or $2 plus moves in these crazy markets. And wow. Uh, it's the erratic uh, younger brother of gold. Um, and wow, take a look at platinum too, man. It just kind of held its own above that 900. I was really surprised. I like platinum. I like the stability of platinum. I still think it's super cheap, uh, if you ask me. Uh, but again, I digress. Let's keep on gold right here. Um, New York spot price down 34 bucks. World spot price is $33, about the same. Uh, look at this range. However, they held on to that 1830 range, and I'm fine with that. We're still hovering in that 1850. Remember, for the last two months, we've been in 1850 to, to 2000, some spikes above that, uh, but mostly sitting in that 1850 to 2000 range. And then I've been saying for a while, uh, months and months actually, if you follow my reports, that the uh, uh, gold and silver, uh, I mean, gold, silver, and platinum kind of have a direct inver or a inverse relationship with the dollar. And that's what, again, what we saw today. That classic uh, 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 dollar up, uh, precious metals down, and I'm sure there's some other factors involved there. And if it, 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 give me your opinion down below in comments, I'd sure love to hear hear them. Uh, <clears throat> so let's take a look here. Uh, G GLD. I'm going to use GLD uh, even be just because they had that really cool graph, and it does kind of tie closely to the price of gold. Uh, but look, they're at 172. It really should be around uh, 18 and change. Uh, but anyways. Look at uh, 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 the SBDR gold shares, uh, GLD. Look what happened 10 a.m., prior to 10 a.m. Woo, just kind of crashed. Now I'm going to take, look at the dollar. Look what happened to the dollar in the morning. 8 a.m., boom, bam, right to hell up. The dollar soared up, gold went down. That is that inverse kind of relationship that I've been talking about. Uh, when, when you see gold going up, it usually means that the dollar is falling in, in, in value and buying power. And these sharp uh, spikes up in the dollar ha create these uh, spikes down in gold, which again, these are all paper trades. So provides physical guys like yourselves uh, and physical lady, ladies and guys out there uh, like yourselves to uh, buy gold and silver at a lower level. However, uh, if you're panicking and you think, oh, maybe I should sell at this level, no, don't. This is just 
This is just dollar related. It's temporary. It doesn't last long. The dollar spikes a little bit here and there, causes the prices of metals to go down. But overall, the dollar is in a overall decline since 1913. Uh, again, these little spikes you'll, you'll see can cause the uh, daily trading and the weekly trading of precious metals uh, to kind of go down if the dollar spikes for a day or a week and not much longer. It just doesn't happen longer than that. You'll, you'll see the uh, uh, price of gold, silver, and platinum fall. Provides a great buying opportunity because overall the dollar is kind of, uh, it's the end of the empire for the dollar. Sorry to say that, but it's true. We all know it. They're, they're on an endless uh, uh, printing uh, 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 spree. And uh, uh, with, a, with a potential Biden win uh, in, in the air here, uh, and again, they haven't called it yet, but with a potential Biden win, uh, you know, really, uh, that just means spend, spend, spend more money. The printing presses are going to go even higher. The dollar value is even going to go lower. And the price of gold and silver and platinum is going to go higher. Uh, so that's just a fact. Anyways, uh, take a look at that spike right here in the dollar. And again, I, that inverse relationship I keep telling you about, look, I could go back a little bit. Let's take one day. Let's go to back to five days. And there you go. Look, this morning. Monday morning, look at the price of gold. Whoop! Got whomped at the same time that the dollar spiked up. And again, folks, if you've been watching this show, you'll know exactly it's, it's what we've been talking about, the direct relationship with the dollar right now. Uh, the gold, silver, and platinum have a direct relationship with the U.S. dollar, and it's continuing decline. Um, let's take a look at this and well, oh, why is the dollar declining? Well, I sound like a broken record, and you've probably seen this enough times, but it's because the dollar is fiat currency. It's backed by nothing. And what is fiat currency? Uh, key takeaways right here. And let me turn that phone off. Sorry about that. Fiat money is a government issued currency that isn't backed by commodities such as gold. Fiat money gives central banks greater control of the economy because they control how much money is printed. Uh, listen, folks, the key word here is control greater control so these people have greater control over your money <laughs> anyways uh, most modern paper currencies such as the US dollar are fiat currencies and United States current United States dollar so as of right now is the longest surviving fiat currency in history we are the experiment and uh, the experiment isn't really going well I'm going to show you something here to show you know show you why I say that, and why the dollar is in such a decline, and has been since 1913. Uh, one danger of fiat money is that governments will print too much of it, and here's the key takeaway from all of this. They put it at the bottom. The key takeaway, one danger of fiat money is that governments will print too much of it, resulting in what, folks? Hyperinflation. Well, we really don't see it, because every time they throw a graph up, it's uh, adjusted for inflation. Uh, anyways, the, the, they lie to you with the data. That's why you don't feel like you've lost your buying power over the years. Let's take a look at this cool little device that I found at the uh, U.S. Inflation Calculator. All right. <clears throat> I put this number in right here, and you can see it already. But if in 1913 I purchased an item for $1,000, then in 2020, yes, today, uh, that same item would cost me $26,301.82. Yes, this is a real website, and it is a real inflation calculator. Uh, just go to uh, www.usinflationcalculator.com, type in your birthday, and you can find out how much the dollar has lost its value since you were born. Uh, I'm not going to put in my birth date because I think that's personal information, but uh, say, for example, you are... Uh, uh, let's say you're 100 years old and you were born in 1920. Uh, I'm going to just use even numbers. $1,000 spent, the same item would have cost you $13,000 today for $1,000 you spent there. Uh, let's take a look if you were born in 1970, uh, close to my birthday. <laughs> And let's calculate that. So in 1970, if you purchase an item for $1,000, in 2020. Now this is a little ambiguous an item, but it kind of I think it takes in a lot of different factors. That same item would cost you six thousand dollars today, six times that amount. And of course, we know there's items that cost even more than that amount. Uh, anyway, the inflation calculator tells you that how much buying power your dollar has lost, and it's been significant, folks. It's been significant since we get off the gold standard. 
uh, and it's been significant since, uh, um, you know, we're, we, we're a fiat currency. That's the bottom line. You can expect nothing more than a decline in the value of the dollar over your lifetimes. Um, at some point, the dollar will become kind of worthless, uh, and it's just a fact. It's what's happened to every fiat currency on Earth. Uh, again, we are the experiment, and if you think about it, uh, we haven't been backed by gold since, what, 1972? So how many years has it that our currency has been backed by nothing has been the fiat currency? Uh, not that long, and it's not going well. Anyways, uh, for those of you that were worried, relax, man, relax. The dollar is not getting any better. In fact, its outlook is, you know, its outlook is pretty fucking horrible. Uh, and they're just going to destroy it worse. The more they spend, the worse it's going to be. And we've got an administration that's potentially looking like they may win this election. Uh, whether you agree with it or not, whether you think the election was fixed or not, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but uh, it's potential you've got an administration in here that's just going to accelerate the decline in the dollar and the decline in the empire. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, got any comments? Uh, was, <laughs> definitely make them below, please. <laughs> And meanwhile, as I said, have patience, have patience, relax. Unless you had uh, planned on selling, don't get panicky and sell your precious metals holdings. Uh, not a good time to do it. It is a good time to buy, in my opinion. And uh, that's really about it for today's report. Thanks for uh, watching. And uh, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811. Uh, happy to uh, tell you what the best deal of the day is. And lately, again, I hate to sound like a broken record, Krugerrands are still the most popular, widely available product out there at the cheapest price. Not saying they are the cheapest way to buy gold, but uh, across the board, as far as a popular, widely available product, uh, best deal out there. Uh, U.S. 90% silver coin is the best deal out there for buying silver, but no matter how many times I try to explain it to people, uh, they don't like the way it stacks or they think it's ugly, so they don't buy it. But anyway, it is the best deal. Trust me, it still is. Uh, next to that, I got some great bargains on one ounce silver rounds and 100 ounce bars. So come by and see me at the store if you want to add to your uh, uh, precious metals holdings. And uh, happy to tell you what the best deal is every day. If you don't live in my area, uh, unfortunately, I don't deal outside of my area. You have to deal face-to-face -face with me. We don't do online sales or phone sales. Uh, we only do the old-school brick-and-mortar face-to-face sales. Uh, so as I'm saying, if you don't live in my area, please feel free to give me a call. Um, I do know dealers all across the country since I'm a second-generation dealer. Maybe I can uh, turn you on to someone in your neighborhood uh, that will give you a good deal as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if this is your first time watching, please make sure you subscribe. It really helps me. Let you let me know that everyone's watching and uh, keeps me doing these things because the whole object is is to uh, make you smarter so you can make better decisions for yourself. I'm not here to make them for you, and uh, I hope I'm doing that. Anyway, have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow. Let's see what happens.